Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Pandora, First Contact. We've begun training our units. It's gonna be slow going. Most of them aren't anywhere near where they should be, <laughs> in terms of uh, experience. Oh no, oh yeah, we entered the Transcendence Era. That's good. We were only second this time. And like fourth. <laughs> but I assume that's because there the AI are only two lines. forces in the world, the sword and the spirit. In the long run, the sword will always be conquered by the spirit. Napoleon Bonaparte. New and lovely building. We're definitely gonna build that. And that should solve a lot of our uh Mineral troubles. At least that's the idea. Uh, Greenspan, I suppose you could get a construction bay, that's fine. Again, I don't know if I want to dare terraform a resource square like that. It doesn't destroy the improvements, so I assume that it's fine, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why take chances, eh? Uh, you're gonna go out here and clear out this fungus. I don't want fungus among us. Okay, now got another population unit. And that's good, it's gonna mine, at least for now. So, let's see, um, Medici, I wanna see. Yes, production carries over. It looks like it at least, because now it costs two turns instead of just one, or instead of three. So I assume that, yeah, Production spillover. So we don't lose production if we build uh, cheap things. Let's get that mineral thingy bob built. That should solve our mineral problems, which we can convert into money. And yeah, our economy is going considerably better now. 600 gold a turn. Here, so we need to fix that. Right, you just grew, that's true. Uh, do, 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 do you have an extra mind square? Yes, you do, so there you go. Yeah, now that we have the minerals for it, I'm tempted to go switch a, a lot of people over to production. I mean, science is great and all, but right now I really want to crank out units. Or something. Choose production. Uh, 
get that market thing above. Basic cultivation. Alright, you actually need pollution first. Anti pollution. And then extra minerals. Something like that. Keep going. And we we'll finished the warthog. That was Hope and Company. Yeah, that seems fine. Field trainings. We definitely start need to start training the, the all the crews in Genoa. And up here. One more in Buffett. And one more here. I'm gonna assume that these are gonna be the most uh, exposed cities. Probably Hope and Company too. But I'm gonna feel a lot stronger now. Okay, so that's uh, three upgraded Warthogs, some of the old ones, a fair few of the th Thunderbolts, four Dreadnought Watercraft. Not their strongest though, we are gonna lose units. If we attack. Who wants this plane, Savannah? Is that Hope and Company? No. Is it Medici? It is indeed. Uh, you could use quite a few things. Let's build a manufacturing bay there. If I can select you. Only if I can remember next time. <laughs> That's the last watercraft. Get that up there so we can start training those. And goldsmiths needs... Well, we can go with the science lab there, actually. Okay, so technically I can now raise continents everywhere. So I can create a whole new landmass and build cities on that. Since I could raise the water. It would take a long time to basically construct landmass that way, but it's possible. demand at least five workers in all cities. At least, preferably more. So many tiles this guy needs to improve too. Uh, let him be a worker. No more room for field labs. No more room for good mines. No shift to working condition. That, does, that doesn't change the credits, does it? No. For a moment there I thought I saw the number change for credits, which kind of surprised me. But it was just in my imagination. more field training. Obviously.
Uh, that belonged to you, so I wanted a construction bay, I think it was. Yeah. Soros, production right away. You need that, not more science. And that's the case for you too. Very much the case for you, my goodness, you have almost no production. Uh, no, we only need to keep you on minerals. For now. Field training here. It's the last bit, one for you. Um, one more for you, too. There you go, last one for you. Nine is okay. These are outdated units anyway, so. Outdated, but still useful. I'm probably going a bit overboard with this, but that's okay. <laughs> that is A-OK -okay with me. The last dreadnought has arrived. Let's see then, can I field train? Actual field train, yep, that's good. Working. That works just fine. Goldsmiths, you don't need that one. And... Uh, you are, are gonna build warthogs right away. Buffett got another guy. Going to production, I think. You're running out of habitat. That ain't good. Get that mining thing first. Research that again. That was a stepping stone, right? Yeah, it was. Stepping stone tech, that's why I researched it. And the tile down here hasn't gotten anything done to it. Hmm. When in doubt, more production. Um, whoa. Yeah, our mineral gain suddenly went through the roof. <laughs> oh boy. We didn't build that many real... We just built a few of them. And that dramatically increased our production output. Uh, there is another factory tech, I assume. So... Let's see. There must be. It might be a bit later, but I assume at least there's another factory tech. Oh, orbital cannons. Oh, fungal hormones. That makes the fungus really strong. 4-4. Four, four. Still one pollution, but still. And there's their lab. Um, there's the habitat thing we desperately need. 
improve eco regions. Okay, so instead of just elevating the terrain, we can actually train the terrain, change the terrain type. That is rather cool. So after brain growth, what are we going to go for? I mean, the techs we've ignored are techs we don't really need. Well, we... You know what, everybody... It's so popular to have nukes. Let's make sure we have them too. And I suppose we want the extra goliath. Extra tank there. Next, yeah, that thingy bob. Uh, neutronium armor, that would be nice. Right now we kind of need the excess production so we can actually produce these ridiculously expensive things. But that seems to be... Ooh. Oh, it's only temporary. It's only 12 turns. Ah. I want those. I kind of want that. I want this. Uh, petroleum armor, sure. And that. Before we get through all of that, though, I do think we're going to be at war. Depending. Let's do a lot of training, get all our troops up to at least, yeah, most of them up to 10. And credit gain is certainly going up, 29% now. Ah. You know what, keep those fungus. Tiles. That's okay. We're gonna build something out in the sea tiles here. You renovated these. That is fine. Uh, go take care of this. That is not green spans. That is part of goldsmith. You lack one construction bay. You lack one science bay. Uh, let's go with the construction. Okay, who owns that tile? Not law. Okay, Medici, what do you lack? You lack construction base. Galore. Science is great and all, but <laughs> production. At least now that we have so much excess minerals all of a sudden. Okay, and now we have some extra field trainings we need to deploy. One there, certainly. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that for one biotrooper. Same thing there, I think. Open company could use one, I suppose. Uh, 
Let's see. Well, these coastal tiles have been okay, taken, so we need to go to those. You are gonna go up to. I could keep them just airborne, couldn't I? Yeah. Let's do that. This square belongs to Buffett, I think. It does indeed. And you need a manufacturing base. And lots of them. Much the same here. And most likely very much the same here. Um, well, let's grab these squares while we can. We're gonna be at war fairly soon. Yeah, I keep saying that, but <laughs> I do mean it. It'll just take a while for me to get everything sorted out. Uh, Sure, even more production, why not? Two more field trainings. You really need it. Soros needs it. Let's stockpile the aircraft. No, go to this square. Along with the watercraft. Can field train you all. There we go. Actually, you did have an extra field lab. Yeah. That seems right. Field training, where should we deploy you? Someone with only seven strength units, that's gonna be here. With two units strength at uh, nine, that seems fair enough. Need the aircraft there trained up. Could probably use one more field training here in Genoa. It's probably gonna be next. It's definitely going well now. My goodness. I'm gonna build one more warthog. Okay, you finished production. You have very little else to do. Do I want to build one? Incredibly beefy defensive unit. I mean, that would undoubtedly be one of these. An all round defender. I 
kind of do, big, big, but uh, how close are we to getting that next level mech? Yeah, that's still gonna take a few turns. Why not? At least here, where they, they're he's so exposed, why not have some extra protection? Okay, that square belongs to which city? Genoa? Yeah, both of them do. Genoa needs manufacturing base and science base. So... That's what we're gonna build. Why did you take that square? Huh. Seems odd. To go that far out. Oh yeah. Chop that forest. You finish that. Excellent. Um, this way. That belongs to law, which is short. But they done no manufacturing base. Definitely that then, and construction base. That square belongs. Oh, okay, that belongs to green, to goldsmiths. You know what? Get a science pay. I suppose I could also build more solar collectors. That would certainly add to our victory thing. But yeah, thirty-one, thirty-one percent and rising. And let's just verify that she's still using mechanized units galore. Oh, she has the next level mech. 90 strength. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, was, it was bound to happen. Obviously, but... Uh, and she has one there too, but... She has very few units, so we can, if we can actually break it with our cheap piddly units... That'll be fine. We can always bombard it a fair bit first. Well, they'll probably have tons and tons and tons of defenses. Still, that's for the future. It is, again, time for a break. Thank you for watching.